starting again when we will be live. Throughout history, trees have filled us with wonder, sparkled our imaginations. Writers, philosophers, speakers, and even odd politicians have found inspiration in the branches and leaves of the trees around them. But what we are doing to the forests of the world is nothing but a mirror reflection of what we are doing to ourselves and one another. A very good evening to each and everyone present here observing the World Forestry Day with Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Agartala Kendra. It's Nivedita Sinha and on behalf of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Agartala Kendra, I welcome all of you. Today we are pleased to have such eminent dignitaries with us in this evening. Dr. A.K. Sharma, sir, Education Officer, Northern and Northeastern Zones. Dr. G.B. Subramanian, sir, Honorable Director, Bhavans Agartala and Kolkata Kendra. And Sri Devashis Chakraborty, sir, Honorable Chairman of Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan, Agartala Kendra. I welcome you all, sir. And I also welcome all the viewers who are witnessing our program in various platforms. In this very important evening where we are observing the World Forestry Day. Yes, I say it is very important because the World Forestry Day is such an important time for all of us to understand what is going on around us. We are celebrating this day on the theme forests and sustainable production and consumption. But have you noticed, nowadays we hear these word sustainable a lot. For an example, few days back when we were celebrating the National Science Day on 28th of February, the third approach in science and technology for sustainable future. It is because now we are in such a time period and environment where we have understood the importance of sustainability as we are only using the resources of our environment rather than refilling them. We are doing the same with our forests as well. So the importance of celebrating the World Forestry Day and the importance of very talented students. Till then, let us start our program with a welcome note by our respected principal, Mrs. Sopna Shom, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Let us go green. I think this is the mantra at present we all must follow. As a Bhavanite, we are always been encouraged to give our children the best education and providing the education of nature has become one of our motto. I, we should make our children understand about the environment and its necessity. And then only they will be able to fight for their survival because the days are coming when we, no, we need not have to fight for employment. We need to fight for oxygen too. So we, in our institution, we try to give all kind of education regarding environment. We observe Environment Day. We observe Earth Day. We go on celebrating Banamohotsav every year with great pomp and show. And by this, we try to make our children understand that how important trees and environments and other environmental necessities are for us. Even I must mention here, our director, Sir Sri Jivya Subramania, Sir, he has brought an environment game. And by playing those games, it is really a wonderful that how the children in a playway method, they will understand the necessity of environment. 
and forest as a major part of it. As our Nivedita Madam was telling that the concept of sustainability is uh, very quite often be heard these days. It has started, the concept started in 1990, when we have in the first Earth Summit, we have realized the importance of the environment by all the world leaders. And not only realizing, we have to go with development where that should sustain, because the kind of development which was going on, affecting the environment, and it was assessed that this development will never sustain. So we have to go with such kind of development that will sustain, and there the concept of sustainability lies. Once I remember that we have taught our children on Environment Day that we have told them to fly kites. We have given them an activity that let us fly kites, and we encourage them that the kite should be of green color. And in the kite, we encourage them that you paste some kind of seeds that wherever the kites will fall, a new life will germinate. And even for uh, some companies also came and uh, helped us. They have provided us pencils. And at the back of the pencil, various kinds of seeds were there attached. Once the child is finishing it over, the pencil work is done. When it becomes too small, the children are not using it. We tell them that you plant it in a pot and you will find that a new life will germinate. So in this way, we have tried our best and this kind of platform also, we are uh, arranging for our children so that at least this one hour, they will be focusing on the importance of environment, importance of forest in our life. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, our uh, very loving and supportive Director Sir, G.V. Subramania, and all-time supporter, our Chairman Sir, and of course, the most encouraging person to organize this kind of person, uh, this kind of program is our Dr. A.K. Sharma Sir. Sir, we welcome you in this platform today, and I really hope that you all will be enjoying the, develop, the creativity that will be shown by our children. Thank you so much. So true, man. Thank you so much for encouraging us. Now, let us enjoy a group song that is Esho Shamalo Shundur, means we welcome the beauty of greenery. which is written by Kavi Guru Ravindranath Segor. Our young Bhavanites will be doing this song. And at the same time, we will witness a mesmerizing drawing by one of our talented students.
Good evening, everybody. Are you in a position to hear me? Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sharma ji. Thank you. Thank you very much. I welcome Dr. Sharma ji and our chairman Devashi sir, uh, Principal Shopna Shom, and everyone for this wonderful day. Wonderful day because we are first three day. First and foremost thing we have, we get from this forest. Beautiful trees we are getting from this forest. What do we do with the trees? We cut the trees. By cutting the trees, is it useful? Yes, it is useful. How it is useful? We can make furniture. We can use it for construction of the buildings. So many things we can use it with the wood. That's a wonderful thing, gift which nature has given. So we cut the trees. The matchbox makers use the trees for the matches, for creating those matches. And the trees are cut for the paper mills. Wala. They all are preferring only trees so that they can make very good papers. And those are the papers which are using for books, copies, etc. Even toiletry paper also is used from the trees. Everything is used from the trees. So is a tree useful or not? Cutting the trees is useful or not? Definitely yes. And then what we do, all these promoters and builders, they make their pathway so that, you know, they can construct a lot of buildings. Population is increasing. Where do man stay? Unless you cut the trees and deforest everything, then only you can construct houses for staying. So many positive things are there. So, well, so cut the trees. This is what the human beings are thinking. Presently, they are doing that. But they don't understand one thing that just now Shopna Som Madam was saying, if we have lived, we have to get oxygen. Not only oxygen, friends, tomorrow we are going to celebrate something what we call it as World Water Day. Even that water, if you want, it has to be given from the forest only. Water also is required. Oxygen is required. Can you live without water? Construct, construct, construct as many buildings as possible. Can you live without water? 
can you live without air can you live without oxygen think coolness the global warming is going on today itself you know in the month of march itself it is so hot in agatala right now and we are all staying inside because there is ac is there in our houses or the ceiling is at a very big height so therefore the coolness we have artificial coolness we have done and we are staying inside this place think about all those birds think about all those uh, animals think about all those other natural uh, 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 things which is living they all the living beings how they will live when this global warming is there if the water is not there air is not pure and you are not getting oxygen how they will live so therefore we say forest is a must unless there is a forest the chillness will not happen we have learnt it in lower classes what happens when there are forests the chillness is there water is evaporated water goes up and then it comes as rain we have learnt it but then when we grow up when we want to do business in match sticks and you know in promotion of building etc we forget all those we have learnt in school we want only money material things so therefore we don't bother about nature and that is the reason why we are creating something which is against the nature and in the schools itself at the level of the school itself our teachers are teaching this particular thing that protect the environment which is very much required now seeds samplings will make you you take some seeds as shopna so madam was saying right now take some seeds go and plant it in, a, in your own home in your own house see how it grows you will find the beauty you will find the happiness that some growth you have done you have created something in this particular world so how much of happiness you will get and let it grow let the plant grow let it grow into trees and then you what you what trees is giving you it is giving you shadow it is giving you coolness it is giving you oxygen it is giving you fruits it is giving you vegetables it is giving you so many things even without cutting it so say all those positive things to the tree and say oh tree i love you that is tree will go and give you empty in abundance abundance of things it is giving you and take that abundance live happily and this is a must so for living you need oxygen for living you need water for living you need that coolness chillness of the climate for living everything is required and if you want all these things required you must create the forest let me just finish with a small incident which has happened in india a person one single person let me tell you 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 check the records you will come to know one single person has created a big big forest in this particular country only developing that he didn't had any money he didn't had anything but then he has created that particular forest for himself for which he was awarded by the india by the indian government i think it is padma shri or padma bhushan or whatever it is just check up those award winning functions you will come to know about that man i forgot the name of the man at this particular point of time he has created a forest for forest for people to live like that if we cannot create forest at least let us not destroy the forest for any purposes and let us all try to create at least small small plants and make it into big tree and wonders of happening to our life let us create our own life for ourselves so thank you friends wish you all the world or uh, it would it is called as international forestry day so let us all celebrate this international forestry day with all wonders thank you thank you thank you so much sir for encouraging all of us about the importance of the forest nivedita check your audio and please and now to make us understand nivedita, more about the importance of this day our talented yam bhavanite trisha chakraborty from eleven science will share her
Yes, Trisha, go ahead. Unmute yourself, Trisha. Ma'am, is my screen visible? Yes, very much. Okay. Trisha, go ahead. Sustainable yes, forest management. A very good evening to the respected dignitaries, respected principal, ma'am, all my respected teachers, and my dear viewers. Myself, Trisha Chakraborty from Class 11 Science. Today, I am here with a presentation on sustainable forest management. Just imagine of being in a world full of skyscrapers, but no trees around, no natural oxygen, no natural water sources, and an extreme climate. Exactly this would be the upcoming scenario if the present unsustainable practice of forestry is continued. Today, through my presentation, I would like to draw the attention of all the viewers towards the significance of sustainable forest management. Forests are an invaluable resource, providing oxygen for breeding, habitats for unique species, and the chance for people to earn a living. It has the ability of carbon sequestration, that is trees absorb the atmospheric carbon dioxide and store it in the form of biomass in and or in the form of soil but the rate of deforestation is increasing day by day, which urges for the need, for need of a sustainable technique for preserving the forests. Now, what do we mean by sustainable forest management? Sustainable forest management means the production and utilization of forests in ways that meet the daily needs of people while protecting the forests for future. Sustainable forest management has three pillars, environment, sociocultural, and economic. Environmentally sustainable forestry ensures improvement in air quality, decrease in biodiversity loss, preventing soil erosion, etc. Economically sustainable forestry improves possibilities of employment, trade relationship with countries, etc. And socially sustainable forestry aims at improving living standards of local communities. Now, what, why do we need sustainable forestry? Sustainable forestry uses techniques to utilize resources in addition to maximum conservation for the future. Forests play a critical role in climate change. Uh, thus, sustainable forestry can help maintain the climate trend major objective of sustainable forestry is to maintain the forest biodiversity and to prevent the extinction of rare tree species. It also promotes energy efficiency as forest is a vital Okay. I think Trisha is somehow disconnected. Okay, Trisha, are you here? Yes, ma'am. I got disconnected. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. You start again. Go ahead, go ahead. The consumption rate is increasing day by day due to increasing population, growing companies, illegal practices in forests, need for more land area for living, agriculture, etc. This urges for the need of sustainable forestry. Sustainable forestry can safeguard local livelihoods and eradicate rural poverty. 
making a sustainable forest management plan helps the community decide how best to use the forest and its resources available to them. Demand for wood is also growing, which is in turn causing more deforestation. Thus, the need for sustainable forestry. Now, let us see some of the declarations on sustainable forest management made by the international summits and conferences. First, the 26th Conference of the Parties. The 26th Conference of the Parties, or the UN Climate Change Conference, which took place at Glasgow, gave the declaration on forest and land use, in which 141 countries agreed collectively to halt and reverse the land degradation and forest loss. By 2030, while delivering sustainable development and promoting an inclusive rural transformation. UNCED 1992, the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development put forward the concept of sustainable forest management in line with forest principles. UNFF 2007, it agreed to a series of policies and measures at the international and national levels to strengthen forest governance, technical and institutional capacity, policy and legal frameworks. Lastly, the 15th Sustainable Development Goal. The 15th Sustainable Development Goal on terrestrial ecosystems sets goals for forest management, halting deforestation by 2020, restoring degraded forests and increasing afforestation and reforestation. So now, what were the Indian initiatives towards sustainable forestry? The Ministry of Environment and Forest Government of India has already created a sustainable forest management cell in the ministry in 2006. The 1952 National Forest Policy. National Forest Policy of 1952 focused on meeting objectives of maintaining ecological balance on the one hand and meeting the needs of stakeholders in the best possible way on the other. A series of national technical workshops and consultation meetings were held to sensitize communities, forest managers, NGOs and researchers about the need for developing a national and state forest management unit level set of criteria and indicators. The national forest policy of 1988 focused on the maintenance of environmental stability, conservation of natural heritage by preserving the natural forests and meeting the basic needs of people. Lastly, the Bhopal India process. It's the present framework in progress, which formulates a working framework for the achievement of the goals of sustainability, specific to the national forestry conditions. Now, how can we achieve the sustainable forestry? Let us discuss about some of the measures which can be taken by us, as well as governments and companies. Replanting forests after harvesting, contributes to ecologically sustainable forestry. Even many private sector companies have taken action to exclude illegal and unsustainable food products from their su supply chain. And an increasing number have adopted targets for achieving net zero deforestation. Two of the practices, namely selective logging, that is to cut only some trees, leaving the younger ones and some of the old healthier ones and thinning, which means to cut certain trees so the ones that remain grow wider and healthier can also be taken up. Pruning or trimming the trees saves from logging the whole trees for wood and stops also stops pathogen spreading. Controlled burning can reduce the growth of weeds and brush that grow under trees. This releases nutrients into the soil and kills pests that might affect the trees. Afforestation and reforestation, enlarge forest area, proper planning and specific training boosts the forester's proficiency in sustainable forestry techniques. Clear cutting or removal of mature trees stimulates offspring growth. 
improvements and strict implementation of the forest laws and government governance also helps. The forest and its resources are for all. Thus, we as a stakeholder have a major role in sustaining it. Steps that can be taken from our side are generating awareness among our surroundings, enhancing the local plant diversity by planting more trees and nurturing and preserving the existing ones, then the practice of community forest management, which can promote the participation, ownership, and decision-making among local communities. Forests are a natural gift, but it's not unlimited. So help the trees to smile and survive everywhere to keep our mankind alive forever. With this note, I would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you. Such impressive presentation, dear. It was really very informative and thank you so much for making us aware of the recent and important things. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to request our valuable words. Over to you, sir. Nimitita, have you requested me? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, I have not listened. It's okay, it's okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. Mola Vishnu, Stito Nityam, Skandhe Keshav Evacha, Narayana Stusya Khasu, Patreshu Bhagavan Hari, Palechutuna Sandeha, Sarva Deva Isaman Vitaha. इसका अर्थ है कि पीपल की जड़ में भगवान विष्णु तने में शाखाओं में नारायण पत्तों में भगवान हरि और देवताओं से युक्त अच्युत सदा निवास करते हैं ये विष्णु स्वरूप है और महात्मा पुरुष भी इसकी सेवा करते हैं यानी कि पीपल का वृक्ष को प्रणाम करने से आयु लंबी होती है and this is from Skandaparan Nagarthi. Honorable Director, Dr. Subramanyam Ji, esteemed Chairman, Sri Deva Sri Chakravarti Ji, Principal, Madam Sapna Soom, other dignitaries, teachers, and my dear students. I have listened to TV uh, Sauramanyam Ji very briefly in her very inspiring words he has told about the forest. And uh, uh, dear Trisha has given a wonderful presentation about the forest. Uh, about the forest, I'll like to add certain more things that I feel that uh, uh, I should give the privilege of this. If you see, about the trees that uh, Mr. Suramannam, Dr. Suramannam has told about, that uh, what is the perception of the human and what we are doing and why we are doing. I want to add in this three things. The one is about uh, soil, second is about water, and third is about air. These are the three things that cannot be prepared by man. Man cannot prepare soil, water, or air. So, in case these things are destroyed, these things are finished, these things are depleted, it is very difficult to restore all these things. And unfortunately, 
we are doing the same thing. If you see the long Vedic traditions, that, that affirm that every village at that time will be complete only when certain categories of forest vegetation were there. And when we talk of this vegetation, on this basis of this vegetation, uh, the Mahavan, Tapovan, Srivan, names were given to those forests and those who are having that particular village. And the maintenance of this forest was assigned to the people who were living on those villages. And uh, this maintenance, which is known as, of course, participatory forest management. In modern technology, it is known as participatory forest management. So see that in, during the Vedic age, this participatory forest management was started where the four or five people from that particular village used to directly stay. And we have so many secretaries, we worship them. Maybe people, maybe banyan tree, maybe tulsi, and we regard we regard them all uh, as uh, uh, our uh, uh, you can say gods and goddess. And uh, actually, if you see, I think personally that religion, Sanatan Dharma, religion is used as a tool to protect the tree. At that time, the people were knowing about the importance of people tree. They know very well that this is the tree which liberates a lot of oxygen. So it is very necessary to prevent this tree. And they have given the name of Lord Vishnu to the people tree. Still, you have you might have seen so many people used to go uh, and lit the, the small dia in front of people tree during Saturday or during Thursday. It is uh, these are the auspicious day when they used to lit it up in the evening. Then you might have seen that there are the many people who used to put thread around the tree, and this threading around the tree is also a custom that is that says that I'll protect you. Uh, just uh, uh, Dr. Subramanya was talking about the person who has uh, rented a forest. And if you go before then, there was a person from the hill known as Sundarlal Bhumana. He has started a Chipko movement to protect the cutting of the trees. So now I'm coming to next is like the neem tree very useful. Then Harsinga and what to say recently in the COVID-19 uh, Baba Ramdev has told a lot of kada, you have to take it to kada and what was that? That was the herbs below it. Very useful. Tulsi. So all these things, Adra, Tulsi, Haldi, below it. All these things were used as a immunity boosters. So if you see that all the medicines that we are getting nowadays, especially the Ayurvedic medicines and homeopathic medicines, they are the extracts from the plants. In the homeopathy, you will see that the names are also derived from the same plant. And uh, uh, one more thing I'd like to add here is uh, you might have heard of uh, uh, the Salman Khan episode of Black Buck. I'll tell you uh, very similar to with that is that uh, this Disnoi caste, Disnoi community of Rajasthan, there is a plant which is known as pro uh, Prospopsis. It is it is uh, uh, belong to family Fabaceae and in local languages is known as Pap. So it is being protected by the Vishnuis. Nobody can cut that tree. It is so sacred. And uh, 
the speciality of that tree is that uh, it can grow in the desert condition and it acts as a food, staple food, when there is no other food left in that particular desert. So they use it as a, uh, a food. So, so many things are used by the plants. So many functions are done by the plants. I don't know why we are cutting plants and why we don't know that it is our future. We have to protect the soil, we have to protect the water, we have to protect the air, and for all this, we have to protect trees, we have to protect the forest. And recently, you know that we have we have celebrated World Disparo Day. Yesterday we have celebrated World Disparo Day. So this tree is a place for many birds to live, many animals to live. So it is my uh, request to all to plant tree and uh, to manage that. Uh, the uh, particular moment that was started by uh, this uh, Bhavans school, Rapura, is about uh, uh, giving the seed in the pencil. I'd like to add one more that in case they can start a seed bank in the school that uh, save the children. Now, whenever you are consuming any fruits, collect the seed, wash the seed, and deposit it to the class teacher. The class teacher in turn will make a seed bank and that seed bank will be utilized whenever and wherever it is required. So thank you very much. Uh, I have listened to very great talks of uh, Suleiman Mindy and uh, uh, Trisha has done the commander. And thank you very much for inviting me here on this uh, very auspicious day of uh, World Forestry Day where I can contribute, I can salute to the trees on this specific function. Namaste. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your informative words. And we will keep your advice in our mind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So as the theme says, forests and sustainable production and consumption, let us visually understand the topic by a short drama presented by our talented young Bhavanites. Oh my god, what a hectic day. Yeah, me, I am so tired. But you know, Adrita, I can't miss school for a single day. Even though I am so tired. Me too, I am literally very tired today. Okay, I think so. We should eat the food and then we should bathe in the field. Okay, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. I think so, I can manage. Okay, okay then. We will bye. meet at 5 p.m. Bye bye. bye. Hey, Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, what about you? I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm just seeing this post. Did you see that post? No, not there. What is there? Nice, nice. Hi, hi, guys. What are you doing? Hi, Di. We are just scrolling phone. You have personal, personal phone, phone also? also. Yes. Yeah, that's very normal. Yeah. Why you people are here? We <laughs> come here every day at 5 p.m. For but playing why? games. No, 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 not, not, at all. Not, not games, yeah, not like you pitch. Then? Then? To do gardening. 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 gardening? Yeah, they are gardening. What is interesting about gardening? Yes. You don't know? There are 3.5 million to 7 million trees which are cut down. We stick to deforestation. Yeah, it's normal. We need to cut down trees if you want to build buildings and roads. What yeah. are you saying? But trees She's are important right. for us. You think okay. like you don't cut trees. How will you build uh, buildings and schools, schools, hospitals? The trees are so beautiful, aren't they, Ajita? Yeah, absolutely. But even, she's right. Even every tree individually is beautiful. They vary in their texture throughout their course and season changes. According to USDA Forest Service, trees provide air conditioning from 30% to 20.5%. 
Yeah, I saw that on Google. You know, trees even store rainwater which conserves water as well as soil deposits which make the land fertile. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We come, didn't come. know about that. Come, come. You see, these trees are so beautiful. We often make this emotional connection with this. Are they beautiful? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you something else also. See? Oh my god! I saw so many big trees cut in the road every day. And you know, over 15 million trees are cut down per year. And still, people are unaware. 15 million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per year. Oh my god. So still, people are unaware about the cause and effect of deforestation. We should aware people about this. Yeah, yeah this, if you guys can aware us, then we can convince all others. Yeah. Let's do it. A minor change can bring a big change. Yeah, so let's together take a plate that we will plant trees on our every birthday. Yes. Yeah. So just think, by the time we will be 60, how many trees will be planted? We are about 45. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a huge, huge amount. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So this is all our request to all the audience that to plant trees on every birthday so that we can make our planet beautiful and a green planet and we can live in an evergreen planet forever. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much dearies for creating such a scene to make us understand what we are doing with the forest. How we are destroying the lungs of the earth. Also, thanks for entering us to save the forests, to save the world. Thanks once again. Now, let us have a PowerPoint presentation by our talented student, Vijay Paul, Class 11 Science. Vijay, are you ready? Bijoy, are you here? I think there are some issues with Bijoy's network. Let's see, I think Bijoy will join us again. Till then, I want to request our honorable chairman, Ooh. sir. Try, try again. Yeah. Okay. As Vijay is not here with us, I think he will join again. Let us continue. When Vijay will join, we will surely listen to his. Okay, I think Vijay is here. Vijay, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Uh, I lost my connection. Okay. May I? Have I missed something? I did not. Uh, have yes, I it. was calling you for your presentation. Are you ready with it? Are you ready, Bijoy? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, okay. Then you can see. A very good evening to one and all present here. This is me, Bijoy Paul of Class 11 Science C. On, be, on behalf of Baba Sipravita Mandir, I'm going to put forward my views on World Forestry Day in the context of sustainable development and production. Now, when you assign a particular day for something, that means it is the day is important for us. It is very important for us because trees is what that gives us oxygen and it is required for us to stay alive. So there, there, our life, there will be no life if there are no trees. So we should save more and more trees. Now, if we, if we think about the necessities of forest, we get to see a lot of things. Like when you think uh, about forest, we usually think about economic benefits. Like we might be sitting in a, in a very uh, beautiful wooden chair. We might be uh, in a very, uh, we might be sleeping in a very wooden, uh, good wooden bed. So when you think about forest, we may think, uh, we tend to think it very economically. 
but we should not forget that they are the home of a lot of millions of animals almost 80% of uh, arts biodiversity live over there so we need to be more conscious about their life as well now uh, moreover the fact is sorry for So some important points that we need to consider are the 21st March is celebrated as a World Forestry Day. The theme of this day is usually chosen by the Collaborative Partnership on Forests every year. Like I said, they are primary home to about 80% of the world's terrestrial biodiversity. Now, in India, Forest Festival is being celebrated since July 1950. But the fact is, we have been worshipping them from time immemorial. Like, the fact is, we have to see in our uh, almost in our homes and moreover if we if we think about our traditions as hindu we used to uh, dance around the trees so that uh, that clearly tells us how much conscious we are regarding the trees and how much important they are to us now the fact is we are celebrating this day that means we need to conserve and protect and expand uh, for the forest from the like from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, forests are linked in every part of our life, and it is very much necessary for the survival and sustenance of whole mankind. Now, on this day, what happens? Countries around the world come together and make efforts to raise awareness to the general masses about the importance of these trees. But we should not forget our role as well. Like a small child, like Gita Thanbag, how she uh, aroused the consciousness of everyone around the globe so a small child can also bring massive changes to the uh, to the earth now how do we save forest like we we usually say that save forest how can we save forest now the fact is uh, the fact is we can save forest by uh, by immediately stopping the deforestation but the fact is we need trees to make a lot of things so we cannot do so but what we can do we can build we can grow more and more trees and also we can, uh, in, in fact, in our house, we can also uh, grow, uh, grow, uh, grow trees. Like it is usually seen in the skyscrapers that though we are going into more concrete world, but we see there are also green, uh, green space in them too. So we can design, uh, we can design homes in such a way that they are more, uh, they are more friendly to trees as well. Now, now when we go, usually go for camping, we tend to uh, uh, put uh, put the uh, uh, put the fires on in, in, during our camping but this small negligence from our side creates a huge mess create a huge mess in the whole forest and could ruin the lives of the people and also we should not forget that uh, lots of people are directly dependent on forest so that is why our government has taken a lot of initiative to connect the people living around there with the forest because this is the best solution, uh, best thing we can do to save the forest. And also we can elevate uh, uh, lives of millions of people uh, living around the forest, about 1.6 billion. Now, forests are regarded as our best friend. Yes, indeed they are best friend. Like, the, like even they act as air condition as well. Like as I said, that it, uh, it reduces, it can reduce temperatures to a three to four degrees Celsius. So it, uh, it best acts as a uh, air conditioner rather than uh, the artificial air conditioner we have made. Now planting a tree, a small, uh, planting a small tree could add color to our life. Like, uh, like we can have the experience of giving uh, a new life to the earth. Now forest is uh, basically a, a complex ecosystem that, uh, like I said, houses a lot of animals, biodiversity, and also uh, in, in terms of binding the soil and also keeping the quality of the soil to, to the top notch level. Now, we also, like Ma'am said, should think green and go green. Clean art, green art. Now, like I said this about the sustainable development, how do you do so? Now, when you talk about sustainable development, we usually mean that the development that should be take place, uh, uh, meeting the present needs with keeping the needs uh, demands of the future uh, in our mind. Now, uh, in, in terms of, like I said, the, it. Uh, increases the quality of the water. Now wood is now is being used in the space as well, and also in uh, with the advancement of sciences, we uh, get to see that its application in medical fields as well. 
now uh, the uh, uh, agreement that was very crucial for us almost 194 countries uh, have signed this deal the paris agreement like forests were supposed to play uh, a key role in that as it absorbs uh, tons of carbon di uh, co2 in every year so it is uh, it is the front for, uh, forefront in the uh, paris agreement now if the current trends continues over the next 15 years then the consequence is will be very disastrous for the uh, entire humanity and our uh, important ecological uh, balances might be uh, might be disturbed with the, if, the, if the current trend continues now lastly i want to point out that when you refer that forests are said to be the green lungs of earth why it why it we say that see because as lungs as lung provide us uh, as, as 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 the lungs is very necessary for uh, for humans to survive the fact is uh, it is uh, the forests are also very necessary for the survival of the uh, entire species uh, on our earth and this uh, green lungs is being damaged uh, by the uh, by the human activity like the uh, deforestation and also uh, uh, putting them fires uh, by our own conscience like it uh, like it's happening in amazon like the government may, might uh, causing fire and to gain economic benefit so we are damaging the the green lungs of the earth uh, consciously so so basically what we are doing is it's uh, it's endangering our life in the uh, in the uh, in the earth so let us promise that uh, that to, let us promise today that we should grow at least one tree in our life and uh, and make and make our life and make it more colorful and also to make sure that future uh, in future we will uh, will have a bright uh, we ha will have a bright future together thank you thank you so much vijay for such an awesome presentation for making us aware of such important facts thanks once again now i'd like to request our respected chairman sri devashish chakraborty sir to enlighten us through his valuable words over to you sir Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you are very much audible. Thank you very much. Good evening. All of us, like minded people, join today to make ourselves aware about the forest. UN has given us a date on the 21st of March. But I will request all my dear students to take a please and fail every day in your prayer that nature is our God, nature is our existence. We have learned a detailed analysis and the good words from starting from Madam Sapna Som, Director Subramaniam Sir, Dr. A.K. Sharma Sir, and the wonderful presentation by Trisha and Bijar, and moreover the wonderful uh, visuals we have seen. I will go one step ahead of what Subramaniam Sahib has to. I will request all of us to ask our consciousness again today and every day probably whether our knowledge and our understanding goes together. It is little harsh, but it is not going together. Because from the primary section, I know that green vegetation is the only source of oxygen. But are we sure? Are we taking sufficient care to save a tree or protect a tree? Let us ask ourselves. There is no harm. There is no late. We can start today itself. Uh, my dear students, my dear friends, 
the trees or a group of trees, what we call it forest or the green vegetation. It came in the evolution much, much earlier than we have the human society. They have given us everything and then we are taking advantage of it, not taking care of the nature. And Mahatma Gandhi told that nature can give the, or can cater the need of everyone, but not the greed of anyone. Yes, we are going greedy, as Dr. have nicely told. And Ethiopia, my dear students, Ethiopia was not this Ethiopia, what we say to, what we see today, any rain without any food, crisis, there is no rain 20 years. 400 years back, Ethiopia was not like, it was full of green vegetation. And one greedy, he sold out almost 100% of the tree or the timber, from Ethiopia, and the result is amply visible to all of the world. And I will say that a group or forest should be considered as a unit, main unit of it, on which all other animals, small birds, insects, this is a whole ecological chain. It is a whole ecological system. Breaking paper is going to disrupt the ecological balance and uh, is going to harm the human society only. And if you remember the famous scientist Hopkins, he told that if there is no bees or small insects or small birds or wasps in the world, the human population will not survive more than 200 years. Why? Because there will not be fertilization, any pollination. There will be no food production. Let us discuss a little bit. We have <coughs> already seen and heard about everything. I will go very simply. The oxygen we have discussed. I will request all my students to do a exercise today itself. If I am in the hospital, I need two bottles of oxygen cylinder, each costing 1,500 rupees, into two, into 30, into 12, presuming I am living 70 years, into 70, how much it comes? It will be coming in crores. So which one is easier? Protected tree, planted tree, or spent 20, 20 crore rupees. So we, time has come. We love to think that way. Let us uh, discuss a little bit about what uh, a tree is giving to us. Main is the water. It is said that there will be third world war for water. And you will not believe it that in some African countries, now also the water permit is issued by minister members in the family. What tree or the forest helps how to retain water? Because, you know, if you compare, there is a 100 meter rate. It takes, say, 15 seconds. If there is a hurdle, hurdle rate, it takes 25 seconds. That is what exactly is forest or a tree can is doing. When there is a rain, Otherwise, it will straight go as a 100 meter eh? and it will go either to Bay of Bengal or to Arabian Sea and for Tripura it will go to Bangladesh. It takes from Boromora Hill catchment area to go to Bangladesh only two and a half hours. So what trees, trees acting as a hardly. So in the canopy, the water is dropping. It is going seepage in the uh, soil, it is recharging water table. This is how we are getting the drinking water and the water for agriculture. And do you know this Chipko movement, how it came? 
in Uttarakhand in 1970. It came for the crisis of water rule because in the Garhwal uh, part of Himalaya, this is the duty of all the females, mothers and sisters to protect the family. They observe that, yes, now we are not getting the water in one kilometer distance. We will have to go three kilometers distance. And they realized this. And when this trader came to cut the tree, they hugged the tree. That is what is called chippo. And if you see the photographs, my students, you will find all the ladies, all the mothers, they were hugging the tree. And that is how the tree is for keeping us agriculture production and drinking water. And now the crisis of global warming, it is because of the greenhouse gases. We, we simply take example of carbon dioxide. It is warming up the climate. The polar snow is melting. And it is said that in 2050, there will be several cities going. So this carbon and the carbon dioxide, which we are releasing in the nature, we cannot take it back, except Is it now? Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry, there was an internet uh, connectivity problem. So what we are discussing about the carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gases, the tree, we know everyone that it absorbs carbon dioxide and that is how it is keeping the atmosphere cool. Till now, we are getting almost 25% of our medicines from the forest. And there are more than 5 million species. And we know hardly about 1 million species. Who knows? There may be the drug for the COVID, for the coronaviruses. There it's a, so without knowing, if we destroy it, we are destroying ourselves. And the economy of any country, so to say, is dependent on the strength or the uh, composition of the forest, because it is the agricultural production and GDP of a country is totally dependent on the density of the forest the country has. So this 2022, it is said that sustainable production and consumption. Our previous uh, students, Trisha and Bijoy has nicely told, and I will tell simply, that we have 21% forested here. But these are not properly stocked. So we need to stock them properly. And what is uh, sustainable consumption? I'll give a simple example. That in Maharashtra, Tisha has mentioned about the community management forest. They, are, they have stopped cutting trees. So I asked them, have you taken Diksha? Bhagavan Sekhu Diksha Lelia Apne. They have 
stop cutting trees will really? know sir we have started learning things better previously we used to go to forest cut the trees whatever we get in from but now what we do we go to the forest find out the dead and dry twigs and that is sufficient fuel uh, for our village and that is what is sustainable use or sustainable consumption it is something like that we keep some money in the bank we see that the capital is untouched rather we enrich the capital from the interest we get and we plan our everything in that interest amount so that my capital remains and task and it grows further that is what is the simplest form of sustainable production and sustainable management we need to see that we use within the clearing capacity of the earth respecting the need of our future generation because we need to keep something for our future future generation this is only a good forest only a good nature only a good ambience only a good atmosphere for them to live nicely thank you very much for listening to me and i will again say the safe forest for our own existence safe forest for the existence of the human being of the human society thank you very much namaskar thank you so much sir for inspiring us the only motto of celebrating world forestry day is to encourage people about saving our forests planting trees so that we can save our mother earth and our next generations as well i hope we are quite successful to encourage the viewers as well who are witnessing our program in other platforms you know the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago and the second best time is now so let us all promise that we will perform our own duties towards the environment for a better tomorrow with that note we have come to an end of today's short program i would like to thank all the dignitaries for taking out time from their hectic schedules and remaining present here with us thank you so much sir and i also want to thank all the viewers who are still watching us throughout the program i also want to thank our principal ma'am for guiding us throughout the program our coordinator ma'am and the whole team of today's program and special thanks to our technical support as well i again thank all the viewers for being with us throughout the program and i will i will request our viewers consider subscribing our youtube channel for more such kind of important programs and with that i would like to conclude here let us plant more trees let us make this world more beautiful for our next generation and for us also for the next years we are living in this earth thank you so 